Okay, so the session has started recording because of time. I uh, will just start it since it's recorded. The others will just follow on the recording. So our main goal for this uh, tutorial is to have Python installed on our machines. Uh, we can also have an environment like Anaconda or Collab working so that to be able to do the projects and also have a, an introduction to JIT and version control to be able to connect with the team repository. So I'll start with Python installation and I'll go through Windows. I have a Windows uh, operating system. This first part of the tutorial will be about uh, Python installation on Windows. I hope you can see my screen. I'll just go. There's a document. Uh, if uh, the week zero files have been shared to you, there's uh, today's tutorials are in the week zero Monday folder. You can just follow through with me on the week zero Monday folder. I'm going through Python installation on Windows. You can also do this as we go on, so that if you have any issues, you can uh, you can raise them. Uh, okay, so from the morning uh, to, to from the morning stand up, you are told that most of our projects will be based on Python, and uh, to do this, you have Python needs to be installed uh, in your machine. So to install Python, this document will take you through everything you need to know about Python installation. I'll just go through the main parts because the session is only thirty minutes. So to go to get Python go to the website www.python.org I hope that everyone is following and uh, then we go to downloads these downloads up here or uh, you can go to yes download our Windows Python 3 Python 3 is the one being used uh, latest so just download Python 3 for Windows So after it's uh, downloaded uh, down here, you can just run the application and then it will install Python on your Windows. So I already have Python installed on my machine, but uh, uh, for most, I don't know, maybe we can use one person so that you can take uh, him or her through it because I already have Python installed. Anyone who has not installed Python on their machine, maybe we can just take one person through it. Anyone willing to share? There is no one talking. Can I just assume that everyone has Python installed? <laughs> I think that would be better. Anyone, can we have any volunteer to so that we can take her through? Can you hear me? Sorry, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, officer. Huh? Yeah, uh, okay, hi. And I think we better assume everybody got Python installed and move on to the next uh, thing, if that's okay with you. Is it safe to assume that everyone has Python installed? Can I have maybe just 10 confirmations that yes, I have Python installed? Because that is a process just installing Python on your machine. Okay. Okay, Maybe so I think. Yeah. 
ah, okay, that's nice. You can just confirm the version that you have by going to the command prompt. Just uh, command prompt, and uh, typing Python, I think, underscore, underscore version that should show you if you've installed uh, Python and the version of Python that you have installed. So everyone in the meeting has confirmed that they have Python installed? Yes, we have. Okay, sure. So the next thing that is needed uh, to complete most of uh, the tasks will be Anaconda. By show of hands, how many have installed uh, Anaconda on their machines? Okay, that's nice. Do we have someone who has not installed Anaconda on their machine? Maybe we can take them through that installation. I see Chibuzor has not installed. We just need one person to take them through the installation of Anaconda, then the others can follow, because I also have uh, Anaconda installed on my end. Yeah, there are so many people who have not uh, installed uh, Anaconda, just one person. Let me choose uh, Winfrida Mugilwa. Just share your screen. We take you through the installation of Anaconda. Winfrida, Winfrida, can you hear me? Winfrida. Okay, can we have any other volunteer then? Marta, Marta Asefa, are you there? Marta. Nahom, Nahom, help to Michael. Nahom. Guys, it is actually advisable for you to contribute in stand-ups and uh, tutorials. It contributes a lot to your markings. You, uh, just 50% is the work you'll be doing. Most of 40 or 50% will be just your contributions, talking in, uh, in Slack, in tutorials, attending on time. So it just needs anyone to contribute. We take them through the installation of Anaconda. Anyone, really. Oh, can you guys hear me? I'm, I'm, I seem to be the one, the only one talking. No. We can hear you. We can hear I'm you. Amal, you have installed? Yes, I have it installed. I need someone who has not installed Anaconda. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Faith. Uh, the I don't want to share how uh, to install Anaconda, but there is a question in the chat. I think many people asked, um, for those who have PyCharm, is it a must to use uh, Anaconda? Not really. Not If you have PyCharm and you're okay with uh, using that environment, it is uh, it is okay. You can use it during the, the program. Thank you. Hello. Uh, okay. Hi. Hello. Hello, Nahil. Yeah, I have installed Anaconda. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think if I can uh, just show you how. Okay. I have to share you a window. Uh, so if, uh, if it is visible, is that visible now? 
Hello? Yes, yes, you can see your screen. Yeah, so uh, uh, you can just go to this uh, anacond document docs.anaconda.com and then uh, you will get uh, the whole uh, documentation how you are going to install whether it is on Windows, in Mac or in Linux. So you can just go to that uh, HTTPS uh, docs.anaconda.com and you can get uh, uh, there for every uh, uh, OSS that you need. You can just download from there and install. It's straightforward. It may take some time and you can just start on with, if you need with Jupyter or anything, uh, any not notebook that you need in there. Okay. Okay, thank you, Nahil. Installing Anaconda is uh, that simple. Uh, I sorry. really, really uh, wish sorry. to. Okay. Sorry, if you are installing um, Anaconda, there is uh, a little edge about it. Uh, when you are installing it, uh, make sure you install it as a part so that you can open it from your uh, command line. So whenever you want to open like Jupyter notebook to run your code, you don't have to like go open another Anaconda prompt or so. So when you are installing it, uh, it will show whether for you to install it as a part or not. So I don't use Anaconda actually, I use PyCharm, but then I've used it before and I had the same issue as at that time when I was using it to um, run my codes also. Okay, Anastas, I think you are muted. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, thank you. I think uh, I think we had Victor talking. Thank you for that. So for the ones who have not installed uh, their Anaconda, there's a folder on, there's a file on a Monday folder. I think I can just take you through because none of you wants to speak up. I'll just share my screen and uh, skim, skim through the Anaconda process. You can just go through the file. If you have any issue, you can just reach out to me on uh, on Slack. Okay, so on this file, it's called Anaconda in Jupyter installation on Windows. The link has been provided, just like I think Nahom was sharing. The link has been provided to go to the Anaconda downloads. Uh, from there and on the downloads, you'll just find a um, the python 3 version if you had the python 3.10 of python inst installed you'll do the anaconda python 3 if your machine is running on python 7 you do the anaconda for python 7 but yeah uh, it's advisable to just upgrade your python to version 3. then after downloading we'll do an install just like uh, how we do it normally in windows you install and it will take you through the process of setting up a uh, anaconda on your machine just follow next this uh, document will take you on what to do follow i agree agree to the license then install anaconda on your machine so you can run you can actually run uh, python from the from anaconda prompt like uh, I think Victor, Victor said, but if you are not, if you don't like use the command prompt and commands, the easiest way is running it from, uh, they have a go, uh, a go they have a, just you, after you've installed the navigator, you will have a navigator from your search menu, the anaconda, instead of using anaconda prompt, if you are not conversant with that, you can just use, um, you launch an Anaconda Navigator and it will take you to a window like this. So most of uh, most most applications can be installed and the one you'll be using mainly is a Jupyter Notebook. It will be installed already. If it is not, you can just install. Like uh, you see some of these are not installed. It's just as easy as installing. But most of the time we'll just be using Jupyter Notebook. After you launch Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Notebook connects to all the directories in your machine. So if you have already formed the repository, you'll see from your location, maybe if it is a document and you just navigate to where you want. And uh, I already forked that site. So 
you will just have most of this um, be, be visible there. Uh, you will also notice that most of these files are .py. Jupyter is used to open .ipynb, I think. Those are notebook files. But .py files, I think PyCharm can do that. But uh, from uh, the Anaconda, we can do it using, I think, Spider. Spider is uh, an IDE for an IDE for Python. So if you just open Spider as well, another feature that comes with Anaconda. Yes. But yes. Why, while, while uh, it's Musa here, while uh, Spider is loading, I see a few hands. Uh, maybe they can speak or text. Um, I'm not sure. Type in the chat or speak. Okay, most, uh, most of the, if you had raised your hand down the questions I'd asked before, you can just lower them. If it is a question, you can leave it uh, up. So, Dushimi Mana, is it a question? Yvette, Yvette Dushimi Mana. Okay, Margaret, Margaret Shepkiroi. Yes, I'm on, you can use Spider to open the doors. Yes, Margaret. Um, the hand raising was for uh, a while ago. Sorry. Okay, so I saw a message from Ashimana asking if you can use a uh, spider. Spider, yes, use spider when you are fixing and making changes on the dot dot py files. But uh, you'll find that maybe later in the stages you'll find dot ip. The notebook files, notebook files, it's better to open them from Jupyter instead of uh, Spider. Yes, I also see Aaron asking about Google Collab. I'll, I can just I'll also take through the, I'll take you guys to the Collab after this so that for those ones, because uh, of uh, RAM and uh, memory allocation, I'll also take you through Collab. I also see Samuel, I share to her hand. Is that a question? Yeah, yeah. Uh okay can you hear me yes can you hear me you. yeah as the previous guy said the installation of uh, anaconda is simple but the file is very large so instead of uh, installing the whole anaconda you can install the components separately so each components are necessary for this this session i think uh, maybe jupyter notebook or the editor id so which components are required for this session to install so parsley thank you so if i'm getting that right you are asking uh, which environments you need to install and uh, if you already have python installed and uh, you need uh, you need uh, just environments maybe like Anaconda if you want to run your codes uh, locally. You can also just opt to do running of the codes uh, from Collab and the ones using PyCharm, you can also use PyCharm. If a file is .py, you can also just use the Spider. And both Spider and Jupyter Notebook come uh, installed with Anaconda. Yeah. Yeah, it's clear. So the only components needed are the editor and Jupyter notebook. Yeah. Yeah. So 
I will install the, those components separately without Anaconda. So mm -hmm. I think it's possible. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, okay, but uh, you know, Anaconda will help with other things like creating virtual environments, doing pip install. So if you're okay with just using Jupyter Notebook, uh, maybe you can do that, but Anaconda will be really helpful. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Salam, Salam, I see there's another question. Uh, Salam. Uh, can we use uh, Miniconda instead of Anaconda? Oh, I'm not sure about that. I haven't heard of Miniconda. Anyone with an answer? This one? Anyone? Yes, you, you, you can use Miniconda. If um, perhaps your machine cannot um, have the anaconda, you can use miniconda. So long as okay. you have the tasks done, that is the most important. Okay. Um, sorry, hi, can I ask a question? Okay, Shikoni. Thank you. Can we use Colab? Does Colab work well in place of um, anaconda? Because you yes, know, it does. You to, sometimes you'd have to um, Pull things like, for example, now this one that we are working on, which is the fixed bug. Um, when you clone the repo and you try to pull it, you know it's a Python file. So I noticed that you, I don't think you can you can pull it. So that's why I'm trying to ask, like, to the call up. Um, yeah. Thank you, Shikoni. Yes, you can use Collab, and uh, to use Collab for those who want to try the platform. You just go online and try collab dot research dot google dot research dot google mm -hmm. oh. Collab.research.google.com. That should be it. Yeah, so you can uh, open any recent files you had. You can connect it to your Google Drive for most of if If, uh, like, for example, the files we've shared with you, they've been shared to your Google Drive. So you can access most of them from Collab directly. And uh, you can also access. Uh, repository from GitHub, you'd have, you will have to connect your GitHub and Colab. So for example, I think my GitHub, GitHub, yes. And then immediately from there, you can see the, the repositories that you have. Here I'm connected to one repository. You can just change the repository that you want. So for example, the, the one we just have to chart that analysis, then you can oh. Okay, I'm not sure why it's not showing, but that's how you will connect to, to your repositories on GitHub. Then uh, you can run you can run most of your notebooks directly from Collab. I have one here I was already running. 
it is actually easy to use Colab. It uh, allocates uh, memory memory for you, and uh, you won't even need to install most of the libraries. Colab comes with most libraries installed. The only downside about Colab, you need to have internet. If you lose your internet connection, you will lose uh, connection to Colab. OK, so the other thing, OK, I'm back. Balea, Balea, I see there's a question. Binyam, yeah. Biniam Demis, is there a question? So the other thing you need uh, to do is set up your JIT and uh, version control. And uh, I'll let Desmond take uh, you guys through that, just uh, maybe installation processes and uh, doing the small commands that you'll be needing, uh, especially for tasks for today. Desmond, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Anastasia, for uh, that. Um, I will take you through the Git. Um, and um, let me just share my screen and uh, take you through what you will need for um, for Git. So first of all, you um, you will have uh, maybe the Git installed in um, your computer if you do not have um, Git installed in your computer. And um, if you want to have the Git installed in your computer, just head to um, Just head to the git. Um, let me share so that you can see. Can you be able to see my screen now? Maybe I can Not get yet, this one. Not yet. Not yet. Just a minute as I try set up this. Um, looks like it's 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 coming and it's not coming again. can see your presentation now or I can you, see <laughs> you you can see it now yes you can see your screen okay okay mm, so so um, to get started with um, the github I think maybe we'll share we'll share with you this file so that um, you can have it as well. Uh, you will have uh, the gate installed. Um, you, 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 if you want to have uh, download um, the git, uh, git for for your for your PC, you just head over to git um, hyphen scm dot com slash downloads. Um, this link here, and then you download and have um, the gate installed for in your machine so that it will be easier for you working with git um, in your machine as well so um, um, and then you you will have to set up git uh, from your local machine to link it up with the one that is hosted for you so you will just get um, this code of instructions git config um, hyphen hyphen global user.name and then you input your your username um, and then you will run this other code as well. Git config um, hyphen hyphen global user dot email, and then you input your um, your email address that uh, you will use with with Git. Um, after that, that should complete um, the software setup for your Git in the local in your local machine and the one that is hosted for you. So 
So after you have um, after you have um, uh, ensured that Git is working in uh, your machine, um, the next thing that you will do is uh, clone. Um, you clone uh, a repo into your local machine. By cloning a repo into your local machine, you 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 are like downloading that kind of repository to have it in your machine. So you will just use um, the, the the instruction um, git clone and then the URL that um, you copy from from the git. Um, by by that I mean like um, um, let me see if we can have. I think maybe you can show you that um, later so that you have, you know, um, that the link that you copy here is the link that is associated with um, your your repository. Um, thereafter, you can create branches for your repository uh, by the command git checkout uh, hyphen b and then the branch name that you are creating. Um, after creating the branch name, you can um, uh, shift to use that branch for your contribution. Um, after um, creating, you can make edits to your files, um, and then you can push them to um, the hosted Git platform. So after um, making changes to your repo in your local machine, you um, can use git add, and then this one here should be, it's not an asterisk, but it's a full stop. So git add and then the full stop. So after placing the full stop, you hit the, um, the enter, and then again, you use the git commit um, hyphen m, and then the message that you want to commit it with. Like for example, if the message is just for making some good description. If you are making your first commit, you can just name it git commit hyphen m, and then in the message you can input something like this is your first commit. Um, after making the commit, meaning that uh, it, uh, you are, your commit is ready to be staged now, and now you can uh, push it. So in pushing, you can use git push um, origin and then the branch in which you are pushing it to. Um, if um, perhaps you are working with the main branch, you can just use git push and then you hit the enter then. Um, by that, you will be able to push your, your code to the main. Um, with that, that maps like almost everything that you need to no, get to know to get started with uh, with, uh, with Git. So I don't know if maybe someone could have a question so that we. <clears throat> Mary. We have Nahil. Uh, Yvette. Yeah, excuse me. I'm just going to speak here since nobody is talking. I just have a quick question. Hello? Mm, Hello? Yes. Is there yes. you can go? Hello? Yes, Nahil? Yeah, uh, I was saying that uh, I was trying to clone uh, and it's uh, I'm raising issues related to permission. And I have also tried to run it. Uh, as a sudo, but if you could not read uh, that remote repository. 
Um, it can't read the remote repo. Yeah, it's per, it says that permission is denied, and I've also tried to run it as an administrator, but it's still saying the same. I'm, I'm running from the git bash. From the git bash? Yeah. Um, uh -huh. Maybe I'm not able to solve your challenge when I'm not looking at it. Um, your, your issue maybe could be related to maybe your... Have you ever pushed? Have you ever created a repo before? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so it, it it can't it can't clone the one that um, is given. Uh, uh, it's saying that permission is denied and uh, it could not read from that remote repository. Okay, maybe maybe I could. Uh, just maybe. Yes, maybe I uh, maybe I can help. Nahil, have you forked? Have you forked the original repo yeah, or you're trying yeah. to clone the original repo? Yeah, I have forked and uh, I have cloned, just I want to clone it and I copied the uh, link, the GitHub link of that uh, repository that I've already forked. Oh, sorry. Uh, I think uh, we'd have to delete the initial repo that we forked before then we found the new repo because there was a mistake there. I mentioned it on our Slack channel. The solution has already been done. So I think they just note the uh, mistake now when I took note of it. So the, there's a new repo, they've already deleted the file. So we have to delete our repo, then we the repo to our own, then create our branch again from the beginning. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I will try that. Okay. Um, but I think Yvette is raising their hand, but I can't hear Yvette talking. Iradikunda, Iradukunda. Uh, thanks. I just was going to ask you whether you talked about how to fuck. Uh, maybe if I, I didn't hear that, if you could repeat, that would help. Okay, how about to fork? forking a repository? Yeah. Uh, okay, if you head to the, the link that has been uh, given for the repo, um, you there's a place to. Okay, fork. this month maybe I can share my my screen, then you can just explain. I'll just share my screen for you, yeah. Okay. So yeah, maybe you can click on the link, yes. And then you can see in that repo, um, where it's written down below, below about, yeah, you can, you, just above it, there is a fork there. Above, there's a fork there. And by pressing it, you are able to fork. So, I think that answers your question. I don't know. Yes, and uh, then it's uh, it means I'm going to get a copy of it on on my GitHub. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Okay. We still have Biniam. You have a question. Yes, uh, I do. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. I was having an issue with my network, so you may have already explained it, but uh, uh, what do we need the, the collab for? I mean, you are explaining something about the cloud collab. Okay. Okay. The call, the call. Yes. Um. um. I can hear this. Maybe you can mute. Okay. 
also so for the collab those who would love to use the collab um it's like um, using maybe the jupyter notebook or you can use the collab depending on um what your machine can handle so if your machine can't handle um um the notebooks using maybe anaconda you can use um, the collab so that you are able to um, handle the task that it's going to be given i think that's why you need that's why you need collab okay that so, answers it's, uh, that answers uh, question. so it's an option uh, in addition to the jupyter notebook yes yes mm. okay thank you we have Fiseha, you have something to ask? Yes, I do. Uh, thank you very much. I just have a couple of questions. Uh, the first one is when we fork something to bring it into our depository on GitHub, I, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. OK. Uh, so when we fork something to uh, bring it into our depository, uh, does our uh, copy change when the original one has been changed? Does your copy change when? Does my copy change when the original one changes? For example, if somebody changed the original uh, repository from which I work uh, from, does my copy in my repository change when the person who originally uh, posted that code or something on inside his repository? Uh, when 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 you already have your copy, your copy does not change. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, the second one is I think you kind of uh, yeah I I think I understand. So the second thing I wanted to ask you, I you kind of answered it, but I was going to ask you if I can use the web-based part, uh, the web-based version of the uh, GitHub. So uh, for not only for GitHub but for anything, just mentioned you can use a uh, collab for. Uh, doing our uh, uh, notebooks for running our notebooks online so that type of things are actually uh, okay right we can use uh, web-based as at the end of the day uh, we just need to get the work done right so if we can yes. handle it on our machine we can use a web -based. yeah okay so those were the two questions thank you very much okay do we have someone else with a question? Yes, Binyam. Okay, thank you again. Uh, um, I'm I'm currently using the Mini Conda because I didn't want to add uh, all the modules I would not be using in this project. So can you give us a list of the packages we need to install on Miniconda? Because Miniconda is a lighter version of Anaconda and it doesn't already come with uh, the required packages. Mm, okay, so, okay, so um, um, <clears throat> the packages that you will use will um, vary from um, uh, the different challenges that you will have. But for this week zero, um, I think you will need all the basics like, uh, um, um, let me just try and look so that I give you all the packages that maybe you will need in working with um, this week zero, the challenge for week zero.
I think I see mainly it's pandas. Pandas are uh, pandas will be mainly used this week. But uh, Biniam, uh, when uh, you run Miniconda and the library is not installed, doesn't it uh, tell you you don't have a certain library, then you have to install it? Because I don't think we can generate an entire list of the libraries to be used. But I mainly I think the pandas, pandas will be used this week a lot. Not yeah. this week. Yeah. Uh, if you continue, if you look at the whole week, most libraries will be used. But for today, mainly pandas. But for the whole week, many libraries will be used. I just think uh, if uh, if it tells you don't have a certain library installed, that would be the better way to go through. Because I don't th I don't think we have at the moment a list of uh, the libraries used through through the week. Okay. What about the uh, modules in the tools like uh, I think you mentioned Cider. Uh, what other modules do I need to install? Uh, not necessarily like um, we have a list of um, the modules that you will have to install uh, because there are people who maybe will not prefer to use Spider. So if you run along the way and realize you don't have a module, I think you just get access to it. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Do, do we have someone else with a question? Looks like we are all set for uh, uh, the challenge. Okay, guys. So, if the, uh, since most questions have been answered, I will talk to Yabe, and you will get access to the folder for week zero. Most of the tutorials that you'll be going through this week are already in that folder. Any challenges, especially the quest, the simple uh, pro questions, just some questionnaires. I think maybe we lost um, Anastasia. Um, it looks like we are all set for week zero. If um, there could arise any questions, um, just ask in the Slack and uh, you will get your answers. So if we do not have any other questions, maybe we, we will call uh, we'll call the meeting to, um, we have uh, Nijis, do you have a question? Nigist, um, I'm not very sure how to pronounce that. It's like Nigist. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yes. Nigist. Uh, I'm using Ubuntu, so is it necessarily to you to install Anaconda? Yes, it is necessary for you to install Anaconda. Um, if you are going to use the notebooks, the Jupyter notebooks, especially in the tasks that have been given. But if you prefer not to install an account and you want to use uh, um, Google Colab, it's still fine. I see. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have Mary. Yes, thank you. I just wanted to make an announcement before you close. Yes. 
uh, regarding um, the next session. So uh, uh, please uh, try to make use of Slack. We'll post a lot of um, announcements about um, sessions that are coming. So the next session that will be at uh, at at twelve UTC is going to be the community building session, and we'll invite you guys. It will be happening on Slack, so it's basically chat. We're going to be using chat for about twenty five minutes, and uh, the 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 activity itself will be posted on uh, on the announcement mm -hmm. channel of um, of Slack. If you have any question, don't don't hesitate to kind of um, text me, and I'll clarify more. So, see you then. Okay, thank you, thank you, Mary, for that. Um, so, with that, um, I receive apologies from Anastasia. I think they have uh, some power shortage in issues. So, um, that brings us to the end of um, this session, and uh, we can. Close it at that. Have a nice time, guys. Who was recording? This one is still there. This one.